Hello and welcome to a new tutorial of meeting the node. You probably remember from the previous tutorial the scene tree object. Remember? It was in the second tutorial, this is the third one. The scene tree object is loaded all the time from the time Godot starts running until it ends. This means it's all the time loaded. You will always be able to access it. Remember how you access it? You just, let's open a scene for example. Let's go to the script. And then from your code, basically the same thing. You just go get tree. This is how, how you get the scene tree from any place in your code. Any node that is inside the scene can access it this way. So well, scene tree contains a node. This node is a type is of type viewport, and the name is root. Remember the the we have different nodes that we can put in the scene. Well, this root node that is all the time loaded inside scene tree is of type viewport. Why is this? Because Think about it, you have a viewport and then you're putting him inside and you want to get uh, information from the viewport, like what size it has, where is the mouse in the viewport, and things like that. Well, root is always loaded and it will always rem remain a part of scene tree during the enter run, like all the during the game it's always there, as, as we said. When you load a scene, like you make the scene and you edit it in the editor, like this scene we are, we are editing here, like any any scene you, you can see you edit it and then you play play you you use play and when you run it this scene is added as a child of the root node all the time okay so this basically says that if you imagine this is the scene you're running and it has a script oh it doesn't have a script well, it now it now has a script whatever okay this is the script of your root node like this if you do like get parent of this scene that it was loaded by pressing play or change scene this parent will be the root node, always. Okay, well, also please remember that the root node cannot be accessed from the editor. You cannot access the root node from the editor. It, it's there, but you cannot access it. It's usually something something you access from code. Okay, well, this is as much as I will tell you about the root node that is a viewport. When you create a game, you may need to run at multiple resolutions. For example, uh, you can run the game uh, windowed and change the size of the window, or you can run it as a mobile game, and you know every mobile device has a different screen resolution, so you have to support them all. So Godot has a few helpers, like here in display. You you can change, uh, for example, the width and the height of the of the window or, or the game. And you can also change the, where is this, the stretch mode, it's disabled, but you can use 2D stretching. This means that this resolution will be kept uh, no matter the actual physical screen resolution. Uh, and this is interesting because you can make the game in a fixed resolution and then no matter what the resolution of the device is, you can still put all your logic in pixels using and respecting the same resolution. Uh, any node that is 2D can access view, get viewport rect that will return the, the size of the viewport. Uh, this is pretty much the, the, the logical resolution of the game. You, you do get viewport, get rect. You can do it by actually getting root. Get visible. This is the same thing as before. You you get the tree, then ask for the root, and then ask for the visible rect. This is the logical resolution. Then the physical can be anything that you want. Remember to set the stretch mode to 2D in the project settings for this to work. Well, okay, this has been everything about viewports for now. We will continue seeing more about viewports later, but for now this should be enough. Thank you.